YouTubers to another WWE vlog with me, Daniel Parkin, and today I'm going to be talking about the uh, the news we heard about a couple of weeks or so ago that there's going to be no money in the bank at WrestleMania, and this is news that saddened me because I've always loved to see this uh, this no novelty match at WrestleMania. You know, it's for all, for all the WWE fans out there, I'm sure we all find it a very entertaining match. You know, it's a it's a great chance for WWE to push mid carders. Uh, onto the main event scene, kind of like the Royal Rumble in a way. Um, you know, with, with the addition of the ladder and all sorts of stipulations and there being eight guys in there, you know, it's, it's a fantastic match to have at WrestleMania. And um, I think, as far as I know, no one doesn't like Money in the Bank. But for me, it's not just the match itself that's going to, to suffer, it's just the, 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 imp the implications of the match. As we all know, it's all about pushing mid-carders. And, you know, what will the mid-carders do now? I mean, I think this. I think this year, without uh, a Money in the Bank, two wrestlers that will go very, uh, two two wrestlers that will feel very, feel very hard done by by this are John Morrison and Dolph Ziggler, as we all know that you know if them two are in a Money in the Bank match, they would probably win the Money in the Bank. Probably Ziggler because he's heel and it works more with a heel, you know. <clears throat> but now they're not going to get that opportunity uh, without you know not having this Money in the Bank at WrestleMania. I know why WWE have done this because they've got a Money in the Bank pay per view. In which they already have two Money in the Bank matches, um, you know I can understand this. Having three Money in the Bank matches a year probably is probably a bit too much, um, but why not have one at WrestleMania and one in the brand one at Money in the Bank? You know uh, I can only the only reason I can think of is WWE can't fill up the time in Money in the Bank pay per view. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, feel, I really think that WWE fans and mid-carders are going to really miss out on this. You know, what what are wrestlers like John Morrison and Dolph Ziggler going to do? I mean, from what we've seen of the card, they're going to have a free person, they're going to have a, a themselves and Divas in, in a tag team match, and that's not really going to do wrestlers like John Morrison and Dolph Ziggler justice. Uh, you know, the people that are vying for the main event status, you know, on the biggest stage of them all, need to be having a you know a real good match. I mean, even even if it was just. John's, you know, John Morrison versus Dolph Ziggler in the match at WrestleMania. I'd be pretty happy with that because that could be a good rivalry. They're two great wrestlers, and you know, we all know that they're vying for the main event, and it would be a great match. But you know, it's. I mean, I, I'm I'm pretty content with WWE uh, doing this uh, as long as long as they do one thing, as long as they say to themselves, right, these mid carders aren't getting involved. Let's defend both the mid card titles. It's something that I think I look back on the WrestleMania. It's something that WWE haven't done for a while now. They haven't def since they've got the US title. They haven't defended the US and the Intercontinental title on a WrestleMania. They haven't defended both. And that's partially because of Money in the Bank and partially because of other rivalries and stuff. Um, but they should defend both mid card titles. And what they should do here is they should say to themselves, "Well, you know, we've got some really great guys that deserve pushes." like John Morrison and Dolph Ziggler, and others that will come on to later, let's add some credibility to this belt, so we can also add credibility to these people. You know, I mean, I would make Daniel Bryan and Kofi Kingston, who are the current champions now, but we don't know whether they'll be champions then, I'd make them two face, you know, in, in good matches, like possibly triple threats or something, um, you know, get them, to, get them to defend their titles. You know, this number one, this will be a good match. And number two, this will be great. This will be great for the credibility of the belt. Um, but the only problem about this now is that we're not going to get too much build-up because there's no set rivalries in this mid-card title. That, that's that's the problem at the moment. I mean, ever since Dolph Ziggler lost his title to Kofi Kingston, there's not really been any proper rivalries in that mid-card division on SmackDown for the Intercontinental title, and it's the same with Raw. You know, they seem to have developed the storyline with the Bellas and stuff and Daniel Bryan, and he doesn't really seem to be getting many rivalries now going uh, for his US title. I mean, he doesn't even seem to defend it. Although, we, we, we are seeing Sheamus, which is quite good, because I think Sheamus is one of those wrestlers that, although he's had a, you know, a, good, a good title run in the past, that he needs, to be brought, he needs to be brought back up again, and this mid-card title could you know, push him up again, which is good, because you know, we all want to see new talent going, going places. Um, and also, Daniel Bryan needs to lose that belt because it's getting so bad now with him. Um, so yeah, you know, you've got play people like the returning Evan Bourne. You've got Drew McIntyre on SmackDown, Sheamus, who could be on Raw or SmackDown in my opinion, depending on how the Raw goes. You know, you've got Ted DiBiase, you've got R Truth, you know, people like that. You know, if if you were going to get Daniel Bryan to defend his belt, get him to defend it against 
Sheamus and Evan Bourne in a triple threat match or something like that. You know, Kobe Kingston again. Drew McIntyre, Kobe Kingston. We've seen that before, but it would still be a great match to do. You know, and if you want to go... If you want to go one further, you know, unionise the belts. I don't, I don't know. Do something like that. Do something which is going to make us add a bit, little bit of credibility to this mid-card belt. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, at least you've gone from this no money in the bank to, you know... Oh, let's see what we can do with these mid carders now, which we, you know, which we would have originally done at Money in the Bank. Um, I, I just hope the WWE does actually, you know, put actually put concentrate on their mid carders because I, I do, I do think that they're they're lacking they're lacking at the moment in uh, in in matches at WrestleMania, and one of the things they do need to get right is this whole mid card thing. And from what I've seen on the WrestleMania proposed uh, proposed matches, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting that, I just hope WWE change their plans um, obviously Daniel Bryan versus Sheamus I'd like to see and some some defending, defending on the mid-card titles at least, please do that WWE um, so yeah, that's pretty much all i got to say about that really um, I feel very sorry for John Morrison and Dolph Ziggler because again, I thought, I think if they had Money in the Bank they'll be the two favourite candidates for that Money in the Bank briefcase um, seeing as they're the obvious two that are going to be getting the next push to this main event title, especially with, the, with them both being on Raw now. Um, you know, if you, you guys, do you, what do you guys think of this money, 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 money in the bank decision, and what do you think they should probably do with these mid carders now to actually, you know, give them a bit of credibility, like you'd probably give them in the Money in the Bank match? Um, how could WWE replace this this novelty match uh, type thing that they've got at WrestleMania, which they now won't have? Um, just leave your leave your thoughts or comment in the comment section below, of course. And uh, don't forget, you can catch me on Twitter. My Twitter is Daniel underscore Parkin, and my Tumblr is Daniel Parkin. And I hope my voice has been clear enough because I've got a very stuffed nose. Um, fair enough about that. Uh, there's a subscribe button up there if you like my videos. Make sure you subscribe if you like what I'm saying. Make sure to give me the thumbs up. And again, comment below. Um, and that's pretty much pretty much all I've got to say really about that. Um, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.